<clears throat> Testing. Do you read me? Just wanted to thank you for offering to clear out those demons. That'll give me time to treat this mithril for you. There's a hunter who went in right ahead of you. I imagine there are too many for one to handle. But two of you should be fine. Then a little heads up. We're getting some unstable readings from the generators inside. Too much power and the whole place could blow. So be quick. Will do. So, you my backup? I thought we were partners. Anyway, place is crawling with demons. Wait a sec. You sound familiar. Save the talk. We got hunting to do. Now, if we're done with the introductions, follow me. Keep it up. Will do. Now, let's scram. Great work in there. As promised, here's your mithril. And, uh, thank you for your hard work. Sure. Hey, big guy! So the hunter who went on ahead... The one and only. <laughs> How you been, fellas? Oh, not bad. Oh, someone did a number on you, though. You should see the other guy. Anyway, I'm back. And better than ever. Hey, thanks for looking after her, Dustin. So, Gladdy, did you apologize to Noct for storming off like that? He made it up to me in there. The power plant? Oh, so you got your hands on some mithril. In that case, I'll go deliver it to Sid. You'll probably want to freshen up first anyway. Come and meet me and Kayim when you're ready.
Hey, do you think we could swing by the cup noodle shop for a sec? I like cup noodles as much as anyone, but I think you might like them a little too much, big guy. There's nothing else like them. They're easy to make with. Hello there. Care for cup noodles? Thank you. Come again. Something dawned on me when I was on my own. Any food you make tastes better when you use good ingredients, right? Then, if you take something already delicious like cup noodles and add in the finest, freshest ingredients, what do you get? The ultimate flavor experience. So I ask you, Noct, what's your favorite ingredient? That's what I'm talking about. Minced meat is the key to every perfect cup of noodles. But why stop there? I say we outdo the ordinary. Find ourselves some real good meat that'll surpass perfection. All that's left is to make our noodle dream a reality. First up, the ingredients. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Ready for more? You bet. Let's hit it. Really looking forward to Iris's cooking. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Aw, oh, don't be that way. It's different when a girl cooks for you. Let's get a shot with the lighthouse. Hair blowing in the breeze will be seaside supermodels. Seaside supermodels it is then. Oh yeah! Seaside supermodels!
Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. Ready or not? the lighting. Interesting toy you got there. This? It's just something we picked up after taking out some Imperials. Well, I'll be Crown City Maid. If you like, I can make this puppy better, give it more oomph. How? I can mod it for you. Mod it? Look, I got diddly squat to do what with Cindy taking care of the garage. If you can find the parts, I can do the work for you. Receive with thanks. Y'all just leave the rest to me. Here she is. Try her out and let me know what you think. Huh. Octus, even the marshal came to say goodbye. I heard the regalia is going on the boat with you. I guess it's goodbye for now. Something I gotta get off my chest. What's that? I'm sorry. Sorry I wasn't there for your father. I swore an oath to protect the king, but I wasn't strong enough to uphold it. <sighs> Ain't nothing nobody could have done to stop what happened. Yeah. I realize that. But you need to realize just what you mean to the boys by your side. I do. Even if they can't solve your problems, you can't hide what's going on from them. It hurts like hell. Remember, those ain't your bodyguards. They're your brothers. Trust in him, always. You can never have too many tools. Here, learn to wield not only weapons, but magic as well.
Waiting for an invitation? Get your asses on board! Hey! Your Majesty! What's up? Please! Come back soon! We need our king! <laughs> yeah! Count on it! The wedding day arrives, but alas, without the bride. Of course, we've come for the Hydrian, and you've gone to such lengths to prepare. Merely my duty. Ah, but for an outsider to lead the Imperial Army must be a battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Lunafreya. No. That obstinate secretary, standing in the way, while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. You know, I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Not many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here, it's just us and the horizon. It's amazing. It's life-changing. We've quite a ways to go until we reach Altisha, so keep gushing to your heart's content. When we step off the boat, we'll be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. Then to think this is where we were headed to begin with. We've been through a lot. And there's still more to come. So next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent said to embody the roar and rage of the sea. We'll have to see for ourselves. Can't let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. Well, we need to make sure she's all right before anything else. Indeed, her well-being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Lunafreya's in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the ring. I have no faith their ruthless ambitions will stop short of harming the Oracle. Without the ring, the crystal's no more than a rock. Hmm. I suppose. Does anyone know how Lady Lunafreya came to have the ring? 
It seems likely His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time, all the way to Altitia. The ring is important, and so is Leviathan. But Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravus. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion. But in its place, he seems to have acquired new power. Power? That would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Now that you mention it, his strength did seem sort of supernatural. I just chalked it up to the Oracle lineage. His ancestors... Sounds like it. Lord knows. This world could use some wisdom. Won't be much longer now, Noct. Yeah. Does this vessel have an entry permit? Uh, entry permit? Relax. I got one. Here. That's as old as they get. Seems in order. You may pass. Prepared in advance. Could say that. Thirty odd years ago. That's what the guy meant by old. Lucky us, huh? That could have ended badly. They call it the Walls of Water, but it ain't just the walls, it's the whole damn city. Which is why we can't traverse the town by conventional means. We'll need to rely on gondolas instead. Yay! More boats! Hey, not huh? this! Catch! Uh, oh. Key to the boat. What, don't you want to go sailing again? Are you sure? Why not? Old girl ought to be sturdy enough. Not even an awful driver like Reggie could sink her. A king can't rule with wisdom alone. He needs perspective. So get out there and see the world, you hear? next? Immigration? What do you mean? There's still more? Sir, what is the purpose of your visit? Purpose? Uh... Ignis, a little help? Oh, utterly hopeless. 
We are scholars of the culinary arts, and we've come to study the renowned cuisine of your fair nation. Is that so? I wish you an enlightening stay. Another one you owe me. You want to check Westcombe's place out? Yeah, let's all go to Mago. Perhaps we'll even make it in time for tea. And we'd better start looking now. <laughs> it's a photographer's dream. What a city. You see this, Noct? What about it? Let's go find some girls. <gasps> They're extending the exhibit for Lady Lunafreya's wedding dress. <gasps> the Vivian Westwood? But wasn't that a memorial for her passing? Well, now it's a memorial for her safe return. Let's go see it while we still can. Oh, could that be the dress we read about in the papers? Doubtless. The designer's name is the same. Want to check it out? That depends on the groom. Might still be a sore spot. What with his wedding getting called off. Who says we can't call it back on? It can still happen. True enough. Let's keep an eye out for it. Now I see why people flock from far and wide to the walls of water. Huh. There's supposed to be a real good photo spot around here. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's go! So, what do you want to do? I can eat a horse. Gondola! Care for a ride? Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. Uh, let me get this shot. The gang's all here, see? Us?
Fantastic. Call when you need a ride back. Oh, I heard there's a solid photo spot nearby. Mind if we check it out? Let's check it out. Yeah, let's go! So, what do you want to do? Next stop, Lady Luna Freya's wedding dress. Let's take the gondola back. Hmm. Sounds like we've gone off track. Ready or not? We ought to hold on to this one. I can eat a horse. So what next? Anything happened while I was gone? Yeah, the car got roomier. Smart ass. Splendid. Where are we off to? Yeah. <laughs> that Aranea, she's a little different. Certainly doesn't fit. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. This way to the dress? Yep, same street as the estate. Seems we're on the right track. Have a look at this, Noct. What about it? They spared no expense on the dress. I'm glad I caught it when I did. If the prince is still alive, they should... <laughs> the people have spoken. Good to know the prince isn't completely forgotten. What's a good place to stay? Is it evening already? Time flies when you're having fun. I'm 
I can eat a horse. <sighs> Any ideas for accommodation? Excuse me, uh, could you point us to the shop with Lady Lunafreya's dress? Just follow this road towards the Secretary's estate. Then brace yourself for the insane crowds. Oh, well, I guess that's to be expected. Thank you. She's a big deal. Big? Think you mean huge? You truly get the sense. Till you drop. One hell of a crowd. And that's the dress. My word. Everyone looks so happy. And it's all because of this one dress. Yeah. Real glad for you that Lady Luna Freya is safe and sound. Yeah. Well, that settles it. You gotta make it happen. Become a symbol of the peace. After we tie up all the loose ends, let's think about the ceremony. A fine idea. Yeah, I'll think about it.